Well, hi guys, hopefully this finds you very well. My name's Paul, this is Plan Z, and welcome to my dodgy little setup here where I'm chasing tubes. In a minute, we're going to hear a few different amplifiers. I've got a couple of three different guitars in the room. We've got some tele single coils, humbuckers on a Les Paul studio, and P90s on a Les Paul special tribute. Um, but first off, I just want to talk to you about the uh, cabinets. Now, all the cabinets will be set up the same way, except the mic level will be different. There's one exception, and that's my Vox. Now, uh, so for all of the cabinets, the power amp, if you've been following, we've got a power amp in each of these, and in each of these, we've got a separate microphone and a separate cabinet. Okay, I'm running in stereo. So the power amp is set up with a level of 15. If you've been following, you know what I'm talking about. I've got the depth on, on four and the presence on a magic number of 69. But on the first patch we're going to hear, I've got the depth at 35 and the presence on 100. It's set to pentode. Now, the triode version, I've got the power amp set like this to get it how I wanted it. But to get the triode, uh, the pentode version in the, the power amp section here, um, it, 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 I needed to kind of dial it in slightly differently. Now, the microphone, for the pentode version of the Vox is on minus one, but for the triode is on plus one, okay? So there's another couple of differences between those two and how they're dialed in, and we'll hear the differences in a minute. But after that, the microphones I've used are the same, and where they're placed are the same, the EQ, more or less the same. So I've got 121 and a 57. Um, we've got the 121 in the middle of the cone, so 0%, and then 33% uh, for the 57. I've just pulled it back a bit from the last sessions, but we stayed with the distance of 7. I've experimented, and that's where I've ended up. Now, this here will be the different power amps that we'll be using in different sessions. We'll get to that in different sessions. But the EQ here, I'm doing a push of plus 1 on 2K, plus 1 on 6K, but... The um, I think I've got the triode one on minus four and the pentode on minus two for 120 hertz there, okay? So what am I talking about? Let's have a listen. Now my back has been abysmal over the last couple of weeks, hence the lack of kind of content really doing settings because I just can't do the settings videos. Um, in a meaningful way. So, um, but we will be doing some deep dives into the GT1000 once I've got this out of the way. So I'm coming up on the neck pickup of my Les Paul. Game pot, tone pot full. I'm just gonna pull back my game pot just a touch to about nine. Now I'm going to go to the triode version, so we're in pentode there. strum the chord in a moment and go flip between the two so you can try and hear the difference and if you're in headphones the triode version is much fuller it sounds louder at first but it's actually just fuller a lot more low mids a lot more low end energy and the pentode version is kind of it's a bit thinner and nicer in the low mids i think so let's start with the triode and then we'll go to pentode <laughs> It's a very subtle difference, but I can really hear it in the room and hopefully you can on YouTube. So I'm going to stay in the pentode for the Vox app. Um, let's go to the low gain. 
Game Pot, Tone Pot, Full, Neck Pickup. Let's go to the Medium Gain. Go to a Driven Medium Gain. So I've got another driven gain here where I've got stereo amps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my neck pickup on about half. I'm going to go to both pickups. I'm going to put my neck pickup on about my back pickup on about half as well. Just changing amps. Going back to game tone pop. Just the game pop bit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go to the back pickup. Bring that up to about nine. So this is a driven medium game. Still the same amp. Gonna change the channel to a high game. Telly come in in the same spot. Sorry, it takes me a little minute to just change the guitar here. So, I'm going to bring up the neck to a full pop. Tone pot on about nine. Just pulling the game pot back a bit. Pulling the tone back a bit as well. So both pickups now. So pretty. Back pickup.
going to the neck. Let's get the P90s. Hopefully we're in tune. fingers shit oh actually i think my intonation i need to figure out how to do the intonation on these special tributes it's got a unusual um um yeah i need to research okay so what i'm going to do is go back to this patch here let's clean up again let's put on some verb You know 
direction. I'm gonna stick on that, turn off the first, let's stick on a bit of wet. Let's try middle pickup.
I think I just want to hear a low gain on this neck. I'm playing with the different guitars in here now. Uh, with these, uh, when we get into the amps, it should all make a bit more sense. Lovely. I'm going to end that session there. In the room, it feels and sounds great. Um, I think the best I've got them to just yet. I can't wait to try this on all the other amps. So what will follow is Boss GT1000 deep dive playlist videos on the amps. And as I'm doing that, I'll be doing different videos in the Chasing Tubes playlist where we're using two notes and then we'll integrate GT with that. See where we get to. Catch you later. Bye bye.